So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be checking out uh, the eFootball 2022 Season 1 official trailer. And tonight, I'm going to be streaming, alright? So around 5.30 Eastern Time, which is about 10.30 UK Time. And then you guys can figure out the rest. If you're in like Spain and France and all that, then, you know, whack on an extra hour. If you're in the United States, it's going to be earlier. But that's the best time I can stream. And I'm thinking I possibly will stream on the PC because the unlocker is out. So I can play 10 minute matches on Superstar and don't have to rush. So that's going to be the game plan. I don't know how it's going to look because it's not going to look as good as a PlayStation 5. But I'll test it out beforehand real quickly. But anyway, let's dive into this. Um, but I probably will not have the green screen, by the way, because it's going to get dark. I don't have the best lighting, so, you know, we'll figure it out. But anyway, what we're going to do is go ahead and run this trailer. I really haven't even seen it, to be honest. And I'm going to be um, watching this on mute because I'm not getting any um, copyright strikes anyway. So, yeah, let's just run with this. So there it is. Season 1, new gameplay approach, team building, and licenses. So it's interesting. They're going for the whole seasons thing which is obviously the game plan of theirs. So, the new gameplay approach. And now they're going to start showing us... So I'm going to let this just run, first of all. Uh, this is meant to be in, like, 4K, but we'll have it in, like, 2K resolution. There's the old dribbling mechanics, cutting inside. I mean, I did watch, you know, parts of Spoonie's live stream. And it certainly looks like an improvement over 0.9.1 or 0.9. But let's be honest, that's not really going to mean much because that was complete pants. I mean, there's still a lack of like turf and stuff, as you can see. I mean, it looks better when you're close up and zoomed in. So they're talking about the sharp touch, which is funny because they really haven't mentioned that a lot. It's been more about the stunning shot, stunning cross and all that stuff. So here's Quadrado. I don't I don't really like those animations. They look it's still the problem with eFootball I'm getting is the players still look like they're gliding a lot more than like Pez 21 on the Fox engine. I don't know if you guys get the same impression, but often often the players' feet and they're not planted, they're just gliding. And I know Konami are gonna need some sort of time, but we've given them time. I mean many, many years now of time to adapt to the new Unreal Engine. Uh, but yeah, just still seeing too much skatiness. But we'll see later. I haven't even tried the game, folks. I really don't have a clue how it's going to feel uh, until I get my own hands on it. And you guys have probably played it yourself. So yeah, just showing you snippets. I mean, it would have been better just to show actual gameplay than all these, you know, pre-canned sort of replays. Here we go. Little give and go. Ding dong, diddly dang dang. Back post, a bammy yang. Don't know if he scored that or not. That's a ridiculous pass. Who's playing that? <laughs> oh, Lord, look at this. Uh, have you ever seen Lewandowski play a pass like that? When has he ever... Okay, this is funny as you like. I'm going to pause this, actually. Ready, steady, bong. I mean, who's passing that? <laughs> Konami clearly thought that was a, a Lewandowski signature move. I'm actually more intrigued to see the things after this. I'm not really that fussed about these, you know, these gameplay snippets. I've seen enough of FIFA to not really care about it. I'd rather see the Dream Team stuff. Um, so, here we go. Bosch, we're into the cards. So, that was a look at the, the selection of cards on offer. And I've seen some of them. And I will say some designs look really nice. Like, these actual... Not the standard cards. The standard card designs look not very good. I mean, it's Konami-esque. But these ones look quite nice. You've got uh, Mr. PK there with the blues. Well, they're all blue. Uh, Varane, Apicano, or Apicano, and Chiellini. And then it obviously shows you the rating of them underneath. So these are going to be your more, what are they, featured cards, I think they call them. So those actually look nice, to be fair. Uh, you've got Bruno Fernandes. Once again, that, that's a nice looking card. I will give them credit where credit's due. They do look good. And this one's green. So there you go. Different colors for different scenarios. Uh, and then, oh, what do you keep missing it for? 
There we go. So, yeah, I don't know if these are more trending or they're still featured, but they're now blue. So you've got uh, Fernandez, De Jong, uh, Locatelli, and Thomas Mullish. Thomas Muller's still an 89. He, he seems like he's been around forever. I think he's still only 33. Uh, you've got enchanting dribblers. Oh, okay, so like different dribblers and different stuff. Okay, I get you. I get you. So this is enchanted dribblers. So you've got the Dybalas, the Sanes, the Triores with the biceps and the Jaden Sanchios. All right, so which ones were these? These were magic moment stars. Oh, okay, now we're getting it. Uh, and then if we have a look at the defenders. Sorry, I'm just seeing this myself. Strong defenders. All right, so. Okay, you've got strong defenders, magic moments, enchanted dribblers, unicorns, and all the funness. Uh, you've got great something. What was that? Great what? Great white sharks? Don't even know. Something. But uh, either way, great finishes. No, that's not how you spell it. No, it is finishes. There you go. Right, so you've got the uh, Vlahovic's, the Lewandowski's, the Rinaldo's, and the Memphis Depay's. Ronaldo's still a 92. 37 years of age, folks. Still pulling off a 92-rated card. What is this? Is this meant to be like this? No, this isn't normal. I was going to say, what happened there? All right. <laughs> There's a bit of a glitch. And then you've got your legendaries. You've got your Etos. You've got your Javis, your Figos, and your Maldinis. Honestly, folks, my dream team is going to be absolutely terrible. Because I don't think I really have any GP. So we're going to see how that pans out. Uh, moving on now. There it is. The dream team. So you've got Messi with his wonderful blue and yellow kit. Uh, you've got the e-logo, um, the e-football logo design. So this is how it looks. And I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not great, is it? Uh, Konami have the worst designers ever. I mean, nothing against them. The reason I go on about design as well, folks, is I have a web design degree. I've done graphic design. I was in college. I learned about it. Generally, when I do, I do my own graphics because it's just easier. But it's like the way they've designed this. I know it's mobile friendly and that's what they've gone for. But it, they could have done so much more. I've seen FIFA on the mobile and it looks far superior to this. Far superior. Um, but yeah, it's very plain, very simple. You've got your collective strength down the bottom. You've got your team player star, which is obviously the chemistry now of how good your team is. It goes up to a 99, I believe. And then on the left-hand side, your tactics, your team, your substitutes, your reserves, the formation you're playing, your team stars down here, your player details, uh, what you're going to be playing, uh, and here's the rating. So Rashford's an 85, probably a little bit over, over generous, if I'm being honest. If we're going by Rashford's form this season, I think an 80 is probably the best you're going to get. Uh, to Stegen is an 83. PK there. Maldini, Cafu. Beckham is an 86. Although I do think after looking at Spoonie's stream for a bit and he showed some of the ratings, Kylian Mbappe, his speed was an 86, I think, and then his acceleration was about the same. So they, they must have cut how high you can get players because Mbappe would technically be one of the fastest in the game, which should be a 95, 6, 7, 8 plus. So we'll see about that. But anyway, yeah, the look of this does not look very appetizing at all. I don't know why they're obsessed with pink, but they clearly are. Um, so here's the player actions that you can do. You've got level training, player progression. You've got contract renewal, lock and release. Uh, and there is Messi. And this is what I'm talking about, his stats. Uh, if we actually do go back slightly, if we can time this right, this is what I'm talking about. Like Lionel Messi, his speed is pretty pretty bad 63 or 63 can't even read a 68 uh, accelerations better but even a player like him who has unbelievable ball control and dribbling an 85 have they cut them down is what i'm wondering so we'll see and then on the left hand side you can see here it says the duration of contract i do not know why they've gone for blue you know once again this background is clashing you know, with being able to read these, I mean, it's not terrible. Like, you can read them because they put a drop shadow behind the numbers. And they put a drop shadow behind the, the, the stats themselves. We don't need blue background with yellow. You just don't need it, folks. Anyway, I can't keep going on about it, but I am going to keep going on about it. Uh, here's the level training. You've got your experience points from zero, and you can crank those up. 
Uh, you can see Messi goes up to a level 21. Depending on what player it is, folks, that will be higher. If it is someone like Haaland, I'm sure he goes up to a 40, a 45. Uh, and there it is. So he is now whopped up a little bit more. Uh, and you're going to use some progression points and up his possession game, his quick counter. Uh, all his play styles are going to now fit more into the chemistry of the team. And in turn, that's going to give you uh, better play styles and a better team spirit. And here comes the lads. There's the lineup as they continue. But yeah, it's just, it's this. You can still see, like, if you watch their feet, and I can't do this real slow, but there's, there's a lot of gliding. And I think we're going to have to, I don't even know if they're going to fix it, but I'm hoping they do because all it does is it makes the game look very arcadey in every sense of the word, you know, and I want to see some proper foot planting. It's not that much to ask in 2022, surely. All right. So we've got the dream team here. Once again, these icons, very mobile-esque all the way. Uh, there's the match, the game plan, my team, and then you've got the match itself. We're going to see that later. I spoke about this on a Twitter a Twitter post I put out. Once again, you know, a yellowish background with yellow font. The logic's gone out the window there, folks. I know I'm complaining a lot, but I have to complain to maybe get this through to Konami that we are not happy with, like, the UI. I'm not even talking about gameplay. I'm just talking about the UI. Now, this doesn't look as bad, to be honest, as you can see here, you know, when they actually showcase this, that, that's more respectable. They've added some greens, you know, still going with the pinks. So moving on, you've got your ratings. Um, we've got the new licenses. So what do we have lurking here? You've got the J League of 2022. There it is. And the players themselves, they look fine. Can't complain about the player models. So they're going to show all the J Leagues lurking around pounding the badge or waving the finger or the thumbs up as well honestly i don't know any of these players nah don't have a clue uh, they've also got the u is it the ufl not the ufl some american league can't remember it now they'll show it in a second i'm sure so the usual snippets of gameplay cutting inside with iniesta well i do know iniesta there we go and um, there we go. There's the J-League. J-League 1 and the J-League 2. But at least it gives us more players. Uh, so we've got the MLS, as you can see. There it is. The USL. Not the UFL. The USL. The United something league. Super League? Superior League? Sloppy League? No, it's not quite that. And uh, I've actually played in the USL. Well, no, I played against a few teams in the USL. Uh, and there's Bruno Fernandes. I mean, he looks great. I've got no complaints about that. And this is where I think the potential eventually of this game will be there. It's just going to take some time. Bows off. Bows to us. Uh, and there we go. That is season one. Card images are provisional and maybe different in the actual game, but they're not really. So there we have it, folks. And I think that's it. Um, so there is all the stuff, the featured cards, the legendary cards, the new licenses, the challenge events, the tour events, the trending cards, uh, and the challenge events as well. So what do you guys make of that? What do you guys make of it? You let me know in the comments below. Um, but, you know, it was a decent trailer. Better, uh, you know, better from Konami's standpoint, I would say, from what we've seen in the past. But it's still, it's still like the UI being very amateurish. Which, amateur risk, yeah, that works. Compared to, like, FIFA, and I will compare this game to FIFA a lot because it's the same game, as in they're both football games. They both have the same idea, right? There's online, there's offline, there's different events and modes and player cards and stuff. So, you know, the fact that Konami really didn't care about the UI and didn't really change a whole lot there is, is annoying, if anything, but... We'll check out the gameplay, folks, tonight around 5.30 Eastern time. Tune in. We're going to be playing on the PC so we can unlock all the teams, 10-minute matches. It's probably, well, it won't. It won't look as good as the PS5, but I'm going to sacrifice the graphical fidelity uh, for more game time and being able to actually check out how the AI plays. I'm hearing they're not the best, but, you know, we're not expecting the best. But we'll play it. We'll enjoy it. We'll have a laugh. Uh, and we'll go from there. Anyway, leave your thoughts below. If you have played it, let me know your thoughts as always, even though I just said it. And until next time, because I'll see you later tonight. 
I'll see you then. Take care.